How's it going Lone Riders? It's Andrew back here with another video. This week it's about an attachment system. Uh, attachment system for a tank bag to the top of the bike. I've got a few ideas for you and you can give me some feedback on what um, what, what you think works, what sucks, uh, what I could do better or if you've, if you've had a, your own experiences with your um, tank bag or attachment system, um, let me know in the comments and uh, we, will work, we will work with them. Uh, I've got a few ideas here today that I'll show you and um, that we've come up with. Uh, there's one golden one and uh, we think, uh, I just want to get your feedback before we move forward with it um, and then um, then we can uh, develop it further and invest more time and money into it. So if you're new here, follow um, or subscribe or whatever you do do down there in the, the just below the video, like, um, it helps, helps us out. And um, also uh, you'll get notifications when there's the next video coming out, which is probably next week. I've got, a, I've got an idea and I just want your feedback before I move forward with it. It's a quick release system and um, yeah, I think it's a strong, strong idea, but maybe you've got some ideas or some inputs uh, that we can, how we can make it better. Um, so let's just jump into the computer and I will show you uh, the idea. Okay, so the first idea is uh, the quick, the pro, I want to talk about the pros and cons of a quick release system. The pros, are, it's a good user experience, right? It's just, you just put the bag on the bike um, and then off you go. You can actually put integrated power in, into there. You can actually wire it up. So you don't need to have cables for running out of your bag. Um, it can be it can be actually locked to the tank bag, which is good. Um, and it's easy to scale in QC. That's uh, more from a manufacturing point of view. I can, we can just uh, set the machine off and it can um, knock out quite a few parts because it's a plastic or a metal uh, and easy to QC because we can always just test the size of the parts um, there's no not much variable there's a bit, a bit of shrinkage maybe in the plastics and stuff but you know it's minimal and um, that's the pros of it um, but the most important part there is it's good user experience cons are average off-road performance um, I've heard I don't know leave a comment if, if it's true uh, off-road that they can come off they're not done properly. I haven't had a problem, but uh, I've, I've heard of it happening. Um, it's, it's expensive to develop. Um, okay, to engineer this product, um, it's expensive for us to engineer it. This is a cons. It's not really a con for you. Um, it's a high high risk in tooling costs for us. Um, it's quite. It's longer to develop compared to the other system, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, and uh, it's got uh, fitment issues. Like, does it fit to the bike? Which bike it fits to? Do we need an extra? Um, adapter and stuff like this so there'll be a lot of questions and um, questions around that does it fit my bike but I'm sure we can make an adapter um, we just have to make a lot of them right um, and hold stock of them and it's a higher product cost uh, that's that's probably yeah we have to wrap in the cost of development and tooling into it um, so it might be a bit more expensive than just the, the, the strap system so that's the pros and cons if there's more pros and cons tell me um, I'm interested to find out uh, so for the strap system, which is um, the good, the good thing about it, the good off-road, right? It, it, it's got a secure system. Uh, it's got four points of attachment. For example, it's um, safer to manufacture. Um, it's basically just webbing, um, some type of webbing, um, and it fits most bikes. So you can fit, you can adapt the length of the straps, and it'll fit the frames and all this, um, all this kind of stuff. So the cons of it, the, the bad parts of it, is it will scratch your tank. Um, or scratch your bike. I'm not sure if, like, not everyone, everyone cares about that, but uh, people do, and um, so that's an important part, actually, for a lot of people. Um, and it's an okay user experience. It's not, like, terrible. I mean, you have to bend over, you have to clip and stuff like this, but it's not, um, it's just not refined, as refined as the quick release system. So it has to be simple, because keep it stupid. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. Um, it has to be really simple, because just, just for... Uh, for, not for only for the manufacturing point of view, but um, also moving parts and stuff if they get clogged up with dirt and stuff it has to be kind of robust and it, uh, it has to be e um, it has to be magnetic or easy to locate. So it just needs to be put on there easy. You don't have to fiddle around with it. Um, instant lock. There's no need to like lock it twice. You put it on and it's locked. You don't have to put it on, clip it in place, and then turn something to lock it. Um, you can buy an extra set for your, set, your second bike. So if you've got two bikes, you can use one tank bag and just um, switch between them two. Um, secure fitting, which is um, an engineering point of view and materials. Uh, it looks good on bikes, so it's like a low profile and it looks, looks, looks kind of part of the bike, which would be cool. Uh, easy to release and uh, from fixed points. So right, you can just release it 
easily. You don't have to mess around with it and fumble around with it. If you know how to do it, you can just pop it off. Um, and it won't interfere with the function of the, the gas. So you can, when you get to a gas station, you can just pop it off, open up the tank, put the gas in and off you go. Um, it will not, uh, it works on many bikes. Um, it can, maybe we can connect power just like your toothbrush. You know how you, if you have an electric toothbrush, it's like, um, works by putting it onto the hot plastic holder and it um, conducts energy or char recharges. Um, it's long lasting, so you have to over, over engineer it a bit, overkill, um, reinforce everything because it will take a beating, you know, like if, yeah, it would take a beating, so. And uh, it has to be UV uh, and weather protected, so the plastics won't disintegrate with the sun because it is on top of the bike and it will get a lot of um, weather action. So it has to be um, yeah, high quality materials and we have to think about that too, so they don't brittle um, and replace, uh, so we don't need to replace it. Um, going for the must-haves, like for the, for the straps, um, I'm thinking, uh, once connected, it stays in place, which is uh, like a no-brainer. You don't want things to slide around. I have to use a, a, a cam buckle or elastic um, to hold in place. But the only way to really hold something in place is using cam buckles. If you look on our other products, we use cam buckles. Um, these are little, I'll point it here. This is a cam buckle. We use it on the pannier um, bag and um, the tail bag, the new ones that's coming out. Uh, it's because it holds the webbing in place. It doesn't slip, there's no slippage. And it's the same with elastic. Uh, if you look at uh, Rockstrap, they, they produce, they're quite famous. There's elastic, that always pulls it. So for example, if you have a duffel bag on the back of your bike and, it, and you roll it up and it's full of air, you put it on your bike and then you drive off, you'll notice if you don't have this elastic part, uh, elastic uh, component in the webbing, um, the, the, the air loop goes out and then uh, it's loose on the back of the bike. So you've always got tension. So that's, we've got to put that in somehow. It's going to be fast to install and um, keep out of operation functions so it doesn't get clogged up in your steering wheel or something like this. Um, it fits most bikes, it should fit most bikes. And um, the strap storage, um, strap storage we're not in use. Um, because, yeah, it's just annoying when you take your bag off and you've got these flappy straps everywhere. Um, yeah, that's what I found anyway. So, going to the first concept for the quick release, because this is not relatively easy, the strap system, so I'm not really going to look into that. Um, with you guys because I can just make it and, and unless you've got an idea tell me um, I don't think it's too much of a biggie but we're gonna do both we'll, we'll try and we'll try and do both uh, the strap and the quick release system um, and the first concept for the quick release system is kind of like a pin slot system um, so if you can see here um, there's three pins on top of the tank uh, connect the holes to the um, the pins to the holes and you slide it forward just like on your racks and stuff like it's quite a secure system um, it's well engineered and that's one, that's the, that was the very first concept I came up with because I wanted to make low profile and kind of non-intrusive. I'd make these stainless steel um, or um, aluminium, these little things. Um, these pins here would look quite slick, uh, look quite nice. The second, the second concept, uh, I can actually shoot over to um, uh, the 3D, so it'll just sit on top of the bike like that, quite low profile. You can see of the bike, this is half of my bike scanned. Um, and then this would just let's go on top of there and um, yeah, easy. So that's, that's, that's like a, I'd have to lock it in place somehow, but um, it's a pretty basic system. The next one would be the same kind of pin system here. Um, I can go back to my 3D model and um, it'll just slip on top and go from there. So you just put it on top and you turn it and it locks in place. I mean, this is just a basic system here. I've just rigged up just to make sure, just to test if it really working or not. Um, and, it, and it would work fine. I think it might be a bit fiddly with um, trying to locate these pins and stuff like this. It'd have to kind of like be naturally fall into place. Um, so that was the second idea. Um, and the third idea I, um, I'm looking into is, well, is my favorite so far, is kind of like a ski boot system. Uh, I was thinking the ski boot is quite a strong um, system and I mean it can hold your skis on your feet when you're screw cruising around skiing and it's um, it stays on there so there's definitely something to it if you don't know about ski how, how it works basically the front of it you push into a like, a like a hook and then in the back you push down and it clips in place so you've got like two hooks front and back um, and quite a quite a strong system so let's check out the 3d of that Let's go into this one. So there's a ski boot system. So from the bottom, you'll see that's the tank ring, just a rough tank ring. Um, at the front, it's got kind of like a, 
like a location wedge here that fits into uh, a hole. You can see the hole in the back there. Um, and then on the back end of it, which will be your, your you'll be sitting here, this will be your stomach area. Um, we have these little rollers that can slip over and, and nest inside those, in, inside that cavity. Um, and the whole thing would be on springs, two big, two big, two scr um, springs in there and those would be protected. So very simple, only a few parts. I think you could even refine this better and remove these parts here and just make it slide in without any kind of rolling. This might help. Um, this might be a bit over, over the top. But yeah, that's the third design. And on the tank, it would look like that. Okay, this is just a, a raw drawing, right? This is just to get the idea concept out. Uh, there's no design in this. It's just to try and portray the, the idea. So that's the, that's the third and the strongest um, competitor for the quick release system. Uh, and the good thing about that, if it once it's clipped, once it clips in place, um, the only way to unclip it is up. So you'd have to push directly in this axis up. So there's no other force that would do that. You know, um, there's no other force that would pop this off automatically. So I think it's pretty strong, um, and we'll we'll try and adjust these springs. We'll put a screw in the back here so you can tighten it and loosen it and adjust it for your um, your yeah, your preference um, they'll probably become come straight off the um, factory we'll make them perfect but we'll do that anyway um, okay that's it that's basically it for those three uh, yeah if you I'd love to know what you think and you your experience with the current ones um, this one's a little bit different in th the thinking um, I think it's a good idea uh, if you have any ideas do let me know in the comments below or reply to the email and stuff like this and i'd love to hear about your experiences what we can do better some gotchas maybe i haven't thought of something um so yeah let me know um next week i've already started a few concepts there's a few sketches that i made um it's pretty cool i found a cool app on um my tablet uh, i don't know if you see that but um i can sketch on there quite quite good i can save some paper um and it gives you yeah it gives i can i can create a lot of designs I'll show you that next week actually how, how sketching how I sketch up these concepts but here's a few just a basic concepts um, of what it could look like on the tank um, very edgy um, at the moment I haven't like refined it whatsoever but probably next week I'll really work on the zip and the hood concept because that's a main major functional part of the bag that changes the whole function so next week is we'll, we'll talk about i'll come up with some designs and um so yeah that's next week stay tuned so subscribe to that um subscribe and uh yeah catch you next week thanks a lot